Hey everybody, it's Chris Demetric here from TDW Woodworks. I think today's project I'm drawing out a simple basic shape of a seagull because I want to do some scroll saw segmentation. I'll go over, I got this big chunk of an old water bed here and I'll cut out the pattern and use some spray adhesive to attach it. Now the nice part about it, it's a little smaller so I attach it to the area that wasn't cracked. You'll see there's a little little nick there in it and uh, bring it over to the miter saw and make quick work of it. Alright, off to the old scroll saw. I used kind of a thicker blade here and uh, I just started by doing all of the perimeter and all of the outside. And once I got the outside all cut down the way I wanted to, uh, I went and did each individual piece on the inside. This one is pretty simple. It's just two parts to the wings and then of course there's the, um, the beak and these are all the parts disassembled. So when it comes to rounding over the sides, I've got there a flap sander, I've got myself a one inch belt sander from Harbor Freight, got a couple rotary tools. You know, you gotta just figure out what works best for you. Although I started out with the belt sander, I had a really aggressive uh, uh, grit sandpaper in there. So um, I started with the beak and I didn't get to round it over it, but uh, I think from that point, uh, you just gotta go what works well. And, uh, and for me, this was fine to get me started, but because it was soft wood and a really aggressive sandpaper, I barely had to touch it. I got out the, uh, the rotary tool and this is where you sort of uh, take your time with it and round it over because once you reassemble it that edge will look as almost if it's a carved edge there and uh, just take your time and do the handwork there uh, set it down whatever works you know you gotta kind of play around with it this is where you get to be artistic with it it's fun kick some music on and enjoy yourself All right, now it's perfect time to drill out the bottom for the uh, dowel that they'll stand on, and that sort of looks like the leg. So everybody, I got my parts together, and I've picked out some acrylic paints. It's just the technique in which I dip it in the water, I get in the white paint, and then I just start kind of uh, brushing it on a little bit, so you can still see the uh, the wood through it, and then I might just wipe it right off there and almost like it's a wood stain and take my time and and uh, make it look nice and this is the part that's a little relaxing for me I'll put on some uh, uh, some you know, classic rock or I'll just kind of relax and paint a little bit and... you know history buffs might know this story about uh, Alfred Dreyfus and the Dreyfus Affair is what it used to be called. Uh, Alfred Dreyfus was a Jewish-French um, artillery officer. And he was sent to trial in about 1894 on charges of treason. And uh, ultimately he was uh, convicted and sent to live the rest of his life on Devil Island. Devil Island. Well, he used to write... Um, and talk about each evening he'd see these glorious birds that would be flying out by the sea and uh, after he was exonerated of all charges and he got back home to Brittany uh, he realized that these glorious birds were just basic seagulls but uh, to me I don't know I think they'll always always be glorious birds So you just continue on, do each segment its own color that you picked out. Of course I did white, gray, and black. And then just give them a little time to dry up. Alright, now it's time for the assembly. I'm going to use some, uh, some CA glue and activator. 
Well, because I'm using the Sienna Aculate Blue uh, inactivator, I wasn't too concerned about any uh, paint that might be on the wood. Now, if you're using wood glue, yeah, you want to be a little more careful with uh, not to paint the area that you're going to glue. But other than that, just assemble it piece by piece and the wing to the body and then from that to the beak and you're pretty much all assembled with uh, four simple parts. Looks pretty good. So I did attach the dowel, but I didn't cut it to size yet because it gave me a chance to uh, spray lacquer everything and then uh, attach it to the base, which were just some old uh, pallets that I had. Okay, and there they are, all assembled. I think it came out pretty good. Uh, hopefully this inspires you to make your own. This is Chris Demetric from TDW Woodworks, and have a great day.